Hi, this is Hector Garcia. I'm a CPA and I'm an independent QuickBooks advisor. The information in this video is supposed to be informational for anyone trying to figure out how to become a QuickBooks certified user or a QuickBooks certified advisor. So I want to clarify a lot of this information that seems a little bit uh, difficult to find or confusing. And I also must disclaim that I don't work for Intuit and this information is really not meant to be of an official capacity. But this is, in my opinion, the most complete guide to understanding how to become a QuickBooks advisor or a QuickBooks user in order to be able to find a job or use it as leverage uh, to grow your accounting business. So I want to explain everything um, that I know around becoming a QuickBooks certified user. And also this is within the context of the United States, US based. So I really don't know how this will change um, in other countries. So this is all based on US based folks that want to get certified. I will also disclaim that towards the end, I'm going to plug some of my own training materials that I sell, videos and stuff like that, that could also help you prepare uh, to become a QuickBooks certified user. So we'll get to that more uh, towards the end of the video. So let's uh, clarify what are the types of certifications or certificates that are out there. And I think uh, the best way to understand them is based really on where you're coming from and what you're trying to achieve. So if you are a non-accountant or maybe someone working as an internal bookkeeper in a small business or looking for a job in that area, you probably want to look at the QuickBooks Certified User online version or the QuickBooks Certified User desktop version certificates. There are actually two different certifications, the online version and the desktop version. So you may have to decide which one you're going to go with or maybe get certified in both. Now, if you're an accountant or an accounting professional that, is, uh, that has this independent business or maybe does outsource work working with multiple, working with multiple clients, you may want to consider becoming a certified QuickBooks online pro advisor or a certified QuickBooks desktop pro advisor. So the real, the, the modifier here is certified user versus certified pro advisor. So think of user as someone working inside of a small business, getting a job working inside of a business. And think of pro advisor as someone independently getting accounting clients. Now, there's also certificates that um, community college uh, and a private training institution may give out that don't have any official capacity. They may have the word QuickBooks and certificate or certification in the same paper, but they're not in any way, shape or form something that's recognized by Intuit, the maker of the QuickBooks platform. The only four certifications that I know to be um, recognized by Intuit, by the QuickBooks people, is the certified user or certified pro advisor. So let's go and, and talk about the pro advisor program first, because I'm an accounting professional and I get my own clients and I serve my own clients. So this is what would fit best for me. Now I put a link in the screen as you see it now, and I'm also gonna put all these links in the description below on how to get to the page that will um, give you the choices. So you can become a certified QuickBooks Online Pro Advisor, and the program is free, which is great. Uh, you can become a Desktop Pro Advisor for $349 per year. You have to pay every year to maintain that certification. Or you can become a Desktop and Enterprise Pro Advisor, which is a different version of QuickBooks more for like bigger companies, higher end companies for $549 per year. So if you're going to deal with clients and you're going to have a lot of income coming in from uh, being a, an independent advisor, I would definitely recommend uh, the Pro Advisor program. Now I'm going to click on the link real quick just to kind of show you what that page looks like. Let me maximize this page here. So when you click on that link, that's there, and I'll, again, I'll put the link in the in the description below. Uh, you're gonna see a whole bunch of text kind of explaining or uh, uh, comparing the differences. Usually when you click on any of the buttons that say sign up or start now, uh, what's gonna happen is gonna take you straight to the online program. So if I click on sign up, it will take me straight to creating a free account. And so that, and that's great, that you can, you can do that, and if you're gonna support QuickBooks 
online clients, you want to click on any other sign up start now. Now you're going to see something that says desktop add on. So the word desktop or desktop add on, that's what we talk about the 349 per year or 549 per year. And by the way, if you're watching this video six months or a year after I recorded and the price has changed, I'm sorry, you know, I can't guarantee that. That's the price as of the date that I recorded this video, which is a June of 2018. Anyway, so if you want to become a desktop pro advisor or a desktop and enterprise pro advisor, you would choose these two programs uh, that you pay annually for. So that's actually a really key component, the fact that you pay for these things annually. Now, I want to focus on the certified user. And again, the certified user is for uh, those folks. Let me just put, put the screen up here. Um, the difference, uh, certified user is for those folks that are not accounting professionals, that are folks looking for a job in a small business and they're looking for sort of the fastest path to getting some sort of certificate to show and prove to their um, employers that they understand how to use the software. So how to become a certified user. So the first thing I would recommend is, you know, find out if there is a testing center uh, close to your location. And there's the link for the testing center. I'm going to go ahead and click on that just to show you what that looks like. So when you are in the um, CertiPort testing center search, you're gonna you know, put your zip code or select the country, whatever it happens to be. So let me put this information here. And then under program, I'm gonna click into it, QuickBooks and QuickBooks certified user 2017, for example, that's the desktop edition, and then click on search. And this is gonna give you a list of all the testing centers in your general vicinity, depending on the zip code that you put in. So you're gonna have the phone numbers of all, all these testing centers, and you must call them and set up an appointment uh, once you're ready to uh, take an exam. We'll talk about that in a second. So after you find that there is a testing center in your area or within driving distance, then you're gonna to go to certiport.com to purchase an exam voucher. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm gonna click on certiport and let's open that up. And you're going to click on where it says certification. You're going to click on QuickBooks. And then uh, somewhere it's going to say, you know, shop or buy or something like that. So let me click on certify. And these things are a little bit hard to surf through. There's contact sales. I guess that's the buy button. And then you click on individual purchaser, shop certiport USA. I'll put these links on the description below to just make it easier. Then I'm going to click on QuickBooks. And there's the exam voucher. So they charge $149 for that exam voucher. And you must purchase uh, that exam voucher in order to take the exam. And also it comes with a retake. So that means if you fail it, you can make another appointment, come back and take the exam again. So that's actually not bad. So you have to pay, you have to buy the exam for $149 and obviously prepare for it. So I'm going to spend some time talking about some of the materials are out there to prepare for the exam. So we'll talk about that in a second. Um, so then once you, you found the location that's nearby, you purchase the voucher, then you call the uh, certified, uh, the certified port testing center, you set up an appointment, and you schedule the exam. So now let's talk about um, preparing uh, for it. Actually, um, yeah, let's talk about preparing for it. On this uh, slide that you see here on the screen, um, there is the... The, the direct link, which I'm also putting in the description below to go straight into that page to, to purchase the voucher. And by the way, they're not, I'm not associated with them in any way, shape or form. That's just the only place where you can buy the voucher. So that's the only place you can go. So again, I'll put the link uh, below in the description. So whether you're going to go online or desktop as a certified user, you must pick one of the two, not both. Uh, you're going to pay $149 for the exam. And if you want to be certified in both, you have to buy two vouchers. Now, what are the materials that are out there to prepare? And all this stuff is on the CertiPort website, but I'm, I'm gonna put all the links on the description so you can see them. And I wanna kinda show you what's you know what, what this looked like, because these are actually really important, really valuable. So one is the exam objectives. So let me open that up, show you what that looks like. So that's a PDF uh, document that kinda shows you what all the uh, domains are, which is basically all of the topics that are covered in the exam. So this is just a simple uh, two-page document that tells you what are all the topics involved with the exam. That's actually not that exciting. Okay, the next one is the study guide. Now, the study guide is actually pretty useful. It's not a complete book per se, but it's actually 
um, pretty long. It's like uh, maybe like 50 or 60 pages. Let me wait until that finishes loading. And it says QuickBooks, a study guide. And um, this is all downloadable for free. It's 19 pages, by the way, not 50. And this actually goes uh, down the list and lists the domain. And it gives you some exercises to practice with. Of course, you need to have you know QuickBooks installed in your computer. Um, so you go through all these uh, practice step by step. And that that is that will help you more or less. It's not the exam is not just this uh, practice scenarios, but I would certainly say that if this is available for free, um, you go to the practice scenarios and you go through the practice questions, and that's that's that would be a really sort of first step. Now, there's no official book for preparing for the certified desktop, uh, certified user desktop, but um, uh, Doug's leader, which is a, a famous consultant. Um, in our world, I uh, wrote a book a couple of years ago, and it's, 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 it, gets, it keeps getting updated every couple of years, which is called the QuickBooks Complete uh, Textbook. And this is about $140. It's a pretty uh, thick, book, a thick book. And this has been, for many years, sort of the unofficial guide for, um, for, for preparing for the exam. It's a, it's a pretty costly book, but the, when you buy the book, it comes with a CD for like a five-month trial of the software so it's this is actually better for colleges uh, that are going to do sort of semester long uh, training programs but if you must buy a book and you must buy a book that um, is mostly associated with the certified user exam I would purchase this one unfortunately it is a um, $140 book so I would I would have a sort of an issue with that because that's actually pretty expensive but it is it's an option that's out there now, if you're going to become a certified uh, user for the online edition, there's also the same uh, PDF documents that have a study guide and the exam objectives. I'm just going to click on the study guide real quick so we can uh, quickly preview what that looks like. And you know, there's a couple of sort of uh, tutorials here. It's, it's, it's about 37 pages, so this is not bad. A couple of sort of step-by-step -step tutorials walking you to how to do uh, some things in QuickBooks Online. So I would, I would certainly download that because that's available for free from Certiport and, and I'll put the links on the description, as I mentioned. Um, and so that would be the, the two materials that are out there for preparing for the certified user online version. Now, in summary, to take the exam, you're gonna set up an appointment in a certified testing center uh, after you bought the voucher you're going to give them the voucher when you arrive and that's how they uh, consume it or use it some of these testing centers sell the vouchers but I, I wouldn't just show up thinking that they can sell them just buy it online before um, the exams have 47 questions on the desktop edition and 50 questions on the online edition and the exam is 50 minutes long that means you have one minute per question you don't have time to think you kind of have to know so you have to prepare you have to have Hopefully, you have some experience. Without experience, it's not uh, easy. But the idea is that you prepare, obviously, as, as best as you can. And you're going to get immediate results. So whether you pass or fail, they'll tell you right there and then. And as I mentioned earlier, there's a one retake you can take with the voucher. So you cannot do the retake same day. You have to uh, make an appointment for another day. Now, some testing centers allow you to take the retake uh, right there. But for the most part, they'll probably make you make another appointment uh, to come back. So just be aware of that with um, with the retake. You may want to call him ahead of time and ask him if you can take the retake right there and then after you get the results. So that's up to the testing center to accept that or not. Um, the last thing is I, I want to plug uh, some of my own uh, training programs. So I actually created a set of videos that is only uh, geared towards a certified QuickBooks user desktop edition. And there's the link uh, right there on the screen. So if you click on that link, that that, that that what you see right there, and of course, it'll be in the description below. If you click on that link, it'll take you to this page. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it to show you what that looks like. So when you click on that link, you'll go to this website that says Learn QuickBooks Desktop in Three Days and Learn to Become a QuickBooks Certified User. So you would click here where it says uh, Sign Up for this virtual course. Um, and then it'll take you through the to the purchase uh, process, which is going to be uh, $95. And if you use a coupon um, here somewhere, it'll, be, it'll give you add a coupon and you put the coupon Hector 
10, so Hector 1, 0, it will apply a 10% discount. And that's kind of how I know that you got it off this video. So um, you can use that coupon to get 10% off, and it's a $95 one-time cost. And this is all pre-recorded video-based training. So if, of course, you know, look for all the free options first before you spend um, invest in a course. But if you're looking for um, a, a, a course that has uh, videos and some exercises and all these PDF uh, documents um, are there as well, just make it easy for you to access. You can purchase the, the, uh, the virtual course, it's one-time cost. So no matter where you are in the world, you can obviously watch those videos and take the, the test if you have a location nearby. Now, if you happen to be in Miami, specifically in Miami, Florida, uh, I developed a couple of courses that we teach locally in our classroom. Uh, we have some online courses, some desktop courses. We have some one-day courses, like sort of seminars, and we have some two-day workshops with computers. So uh, we have different options. And, um, and, and I, I used to teach it. Now my partner Alex teaches it. The cost of those classes vary between $300 and $500, depending whether it's a one-day, two-day, weekend um, you can go to the website that's that's there on the screen or call the number on the screen to talk to someone in the office and figure out if one of the the local uh, live trainings could also be useful for you. But no matter what, whether you physically go to a class somewhere or you take some sort of web-based training, if you want to become a certified user, you must take that exam in a certified in a certified testing center. That's one of the sort of biggest misconceptions that people have that sort of makes this whole thing confusing. You must purchase the exam from CertiPort and you must uh, schedule the exam at CertiPort. And of course, hopefully you, you look into uh, the free resources that are listed in this video. And if you want to take my videos and purchase my video course, you can do that as well. So hopefully this video is uh, useful. It's clear. Hopefully it gives you all the possible information that you needed in order to go about uh, getting certified. Thank you.